Hi folks, today we're making an awesome looking double winter burger. So stay tuned because it's time to grill. Yes! Here in Germany I just realized winter is almost over. I haven't done any venison, deer, meat yet. So let's make a double winter burger. Let's get started with cutting onions. We need small dices. and red cabbage. This is sliced red cabbage. Slice it by hand. Doesn't have to be very thin, just the way you like it, just like this. This is kind of a quarter of a red cabbage. And we're gonna add some kosher salt, some raspberry vinegar, and some sugar. Of course, I'll put the exact amount of ingredients into the video description, as always. Now put this into the fridge and let that soak up the raspberry vinegar for about an hour. In the meantime, prepare your cast iron pan and add just a small amount of butter. <laughs> and start with some onions. Steer every there and now, every here and now and as soon as the onions start getting brown, add the red cabbage. Normally I like red cabbage as a side dish and cooked for a longer time. In this case let this cook for approximately 30 minutes. For me it's good if you can just taste some of that bite uh, flavor, red cabbage flavor on your burger. If the pan gets too dry Add some vegetable stock or just two or three shots of beer. Beer is always right. So, these are wild boar burger patties. I got from a German butchery called uh, Eatventure. You can check this out. Check this out. Exactly. Check it out. This is more German English. Now, put this onto your grill. High heat, cast iron grates, and let this grill there for three minutes per side. After you have flipped the burger, add some cheese. I use old Gouda. This is really tasty, really, really great. Now put them onto indirect heat and let the cheese melt. And in the meantime, we prepare the last ingredient, the last part of our burger. This is a pear. Now cut the pear in half and slice it up. Make sure not to cut them too thin because otherwise they will burn very soon, very fast. So this is what we are looking for. I think you have an idea now. So again your cast iron pan with a small piece of butter and now put your pear into the pan and let this saute for approximately 10 minutes and you're ready to go when your pear look golden brown. So, uh, the moment the pier looks like the one in the middle, you're ready to go and build the burger. This is a bun. This is some lettuce here. You might add some salad sauce like ranch dressing for sure if you want. One patty with cheese, wild boar patty, 
some stuff of that red cabbage. Another patty. Your caramelized pear. And the other part of the bun. So, there you go. That's one hell of a winter burger, double winter burger. If you want more sauce, I don't need sauce because the red cabbage was really juicy, the pear was juicy, the meat was juicy. So no need for sauce here. If you want, you can add a mustard or whatever you like. If you uh, like this video, please hit that thumb up button, leave me a comment and click on that right button on your screen for subscribing. That's really important. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.